I'm ready for a new season. Haha, <laughs> and tomorrow, first sale of the season, going to the Marca Vada on my own, solo. So uh, I remember with the previous boat that I did Ter Schelling Tessel. I vividly remember that one. Ready as I'll ever be. First solo trip 2022, Marco Wadde. Everything is prepared. We have the single handed line. Looking all the way there. And back on the winch so I can put that on the boulder, put tension on it and then basically push the ship to the to the side. We have the other lines already. Steph helping me out. Wind vane installed. It's now or never. Go my way. Cleaning up the boat, putting in old fenders, stuff, big shipping behind me. But uh, this is uh, the first solar sail with wind. It helps to uh, sail. So, really looking forward to uh, raising the sail to see how it goes. Not too much wind, not uh, too little. Around me, everybody's going full sail, so should be okay. Let's not be too prudent. It should be a, a three gusting four. It should be okay. We seem to have a half wind, which is ideal course. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to, uh, to setting sail. So uh, let's uh, clean up the mess first. We're sailing. Don't ask me how the sails look. Not that look pretty bad, but we're sailing. Ah, oh, they don't look that bad actually. They're flappy, so let's fix that. There it is, boys and girls. The solo plug! Because I'm the only one on the ship! Which is a very terrifying thought, actually, if you think about it. Like, you could wonder uh, how verstandig that is, but uh, it's allowed, so... I kind of know what I'm doing, so... Uh, fingers crossed nothing goes wrong. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Sailing Windrose, this time from Toulouse. Ah, beautiful hotel room, a little bit funny but still it works so first trip solo with a little bit of wind let's go back to how that continues so i know there's not a lot of wind it's nine knots approximately We're doing three each knots over ground but uh the auto helm is steering. Something I like a lot. I'm sitting here and I do think that whatever you want to say of it, I kinda did it. We're sailing it. I'm sailing. Sailing solo. We have the solo flag up here. So Jan, how does it feel? <laughs> yeah, feels lonely in a way, but it does feel like a victory because I've been working to towards everything, and now the boat is auto helming itself. <laughs> I have my uh, stadion Cushing that I sue, sued. <laughs> well, there you can see. This is not the best stadion Cushing, but I can tell you it's quite comfy. So, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels um, it feels good. It feels good. And even if it's just this one trip, then at least you know 
12 years ago I couldn't sail at all I didn't even know what a sailboat well I knew what it was but it's like which ropes which sails how to balance the boat like how to balance the boat look this is the center point so that means it's balanced you know it's not doing a lot it's just keeping it on track so how does it feel it feels good it feels like i learned a lot it feels like i came a long way and i'm not sure if i'm ready to drop it now obviously it's beautiful weather sun is shining 10 knots of wind so uh well, yeah you know how can this be bad but i feel confident and the more i sail the more confident i get and i think then when it's 20 you just put another reef in i feel we need to continue at least for now that makes me feel good quite good is what I like about sailing as well you can say it's not about the destination but getting at the destination actually makes me feel good that's nice I really need to uh, sail a bit past the island and then make the tack and not before so um, that's what I'm doing continuing boat speed four each still four five four 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 three bit more now because there's a bit more wind 14 15 so for solar sail up till now is quite an eventful which is good by the way don't get me wrong this is exactly how I like it in a way it's actually quite comfortable just the boat steers itself so you don't have to do a lot but wait and look look outside and enjoy the view final approach to Marco Allen I'm kind of staring there straight to it which obviously is not working but we're almost there I have made it <laughs> so look I made it solo and look where I am I'm at the Marco Valde and it's crazy busy there which is sort of logical obviously because it's Tweede Paasdag but I decided to anchor <laughs> and I already think that is a good idea because uh, these guys are gonna look at the sunset but there are like a whole bunch of boats like in the way and one of them is mine that's actually a bit of a shame but uh, and there you go quite a few boats there quite a few boats there another one coming in so another one over there so uh, super busy but uh, I made it so I'm gonna do a ginger tea solo eigen kiel met een marke wadden. Solo 
sailing is also solo cooking. So let's make something to eat. I think you can be pretty proud of me. For a guy that never cooks, I make quite a meal. And it's with healthy stuff. It's like champignons, courgettes, veggie meat, onions. We call it smack makers. Smack makers. The smack makers mix. So garlic, red onion, yellow onion, and spicy onion. I didn't use the yellow one, but used all the others. Paprika. So a lot of good stuff. Now time to eat something. something weird going on here we have a sunset nearly every day and I never feel like I need to watch it except when I'm on a boat and it feels like a shame to not watch the sunset and I'm not the only one people on that boat people on that boat people on that boat people on that boat even loads of people on the beach watching it. And there he goes. Restless light in a way. But good in the other. We uh, the wind turned as expected. Picked up as not expected. Which delivered a combo of uh, some waves that were not big but make the boat rock a bit. So I checked. All was good. So, uh, good morning, world. Another day. It's really nice weather out there. So, let's see what we're going to do today, shall we? So, I just looked at the weather forecast. I could do two things. I could stay here. But with this wind, that is not really funny. So, I would need to go in or need to go to another place. Uh, or I could go to Marke, there I'm a bit more protected, or it's going to be uh, Volendam, but uh, at least uh, I'm going to sail today, I'm not going to stay here. It takes about this long to get ready, but ready as I'll ever be, I'd say. We're sailing, we're sailing in the right, we're heading like straight for where we need to go. I'm doing 3.6 through water, which is matching on my Raymarine screens. And Auto helm is on. Sails are looking beautiful. I have my little solo flag waving here. The normal flag, the enjoy flag, which is now right. 
and some other sailboats. So I am on my way, I would say. And then three again. And actually, that actually is quite funny how comfortable that is, how quickly. Very good. Note to self, secure it, because this is going to be messy if you fall in the water. so peaceful down here it's so beautiful sun is out like an amazing amazing scenery we got here I'm just in the middle of the Markamia the boat is just boating along with the enjoy flap on the back Wow. Wow. And what I like best is now today, we have a calm day. I'm actually able to relax fully. Obviously, that would be different if we had a, a day where I could not sit here and it would be jamming on the water. Now we're just cruising along at 2.1 knots, which is almost no speed, but there is only four or five knots of wind. And I find it pretty remarkable that the wind vane is actually picking up this little wind. I have to help it a little bit every now and then, but I'm sitting in the sun reading a book. So in case you might be wondering how much wind the machine needs, we are going half a wind, as we call it, and there is 5.5 knots of it. And obviously it's a parent wind, so we are, I think, having about 8-9 knots of true wind. Hey, uh, Erwin! It works! <laughs> Enjoy, man! It appears to be that there is wind over there. And I've been looking at the other ships and they appear to go faster. Now, I now have six knots of wind doing uh, five something. So I'm actually boating towards the wind to see if I am here in like it seems to be the middle of the lake with less wind. So my assumption is that nearer to the shore, there might be a little bit more wind. I call me stupid, but I really seem to have thought there was no wind. Like three, four. I boated up to the area where there on the water appeared to be wind. And now when I look back, there's this area where I was in where there is still no wind. But at least now we're moving. I think that's better than not moving. <laughs> I guess normally you wouldn't do it with this amount of sail. 
but it has to be said it is sort of comfy in a way I like that and it wasn't all that difficult we just went uh, through the wind overstag tacked and then I just did not bring over the uh, the genua and now we are half windish I would say kind of sort of laying still drifting at 1.3 1.2 knots with 5.7 Current wind. Oh, that's funny. This is why you need a lot of time if you go sailing. It takes a lot of time to get there. So we have 6.7 parents. We're doing three, so we have 10 knots of wind. And it takes long. I think I left at 10 uh, ish. It's now three ish. And I would say I'm, I wouldn't even see almost, but I would say I can see the horse of Marco, which means two third. And I think Yeah, I would say I'm at two third of two third. So I'm getting there, but it just takes a long time. Plenty of time to think about life, that's for sure. of Marken yet again we pass it and slowly 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 it disappears behind the yellow bag which is a lifeling, it's very handy to have in case you fall overboard and you have somebody else on the boat that can toss it out for you. And if you don't, well, then you better not fall overboard. Creating its own waves, man. Come on. Come on. you're making these waves like this then you know you're well that you ain't paddling let me put it like that Gee. start the engine because there's no wind what do you know wind maybe it was there all the time I just didn't notice it but be looking at the ship over there they actually have wind which is well, annoying this is the second time this has happened so, uh, what are you gonna do huh I made it to Durgedam. I put out the anchor, I put out the anchor ball, and what do you know? The line connected to it got twisted, so there was one little to do in early April, and that was untangle that anchor ball and get it floating.
the stove going we have something to eat I am a lucky man my wife and my son were at the dike at the other end uh, I could actually wave at them looking through the binoculars it's weird not to have them on board it feels like a bit like a man cave But it is what it is and I feel I feel good I feel quite more at ease and would I have been in the house it would have been okay as well but tomorrow there was predicted to be no wind so I figured let's push on and all for about 50 minutes I was able to just sail the whole way the average speed is 2.3 knots <laughs> So that uh, tells you a little bit how long it took me to get there, but um, I enjoyed it. That's good. I'm now, eating, now gonna eat some dinner. That was it from Toulouse, but also on this episode of Sailing Windrose. I hope you liked it. If so, leave a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment. I would really like that. And if you want to know how we continue on this solo adventure hit subscribe next time i'm going to prepare the boat for better solo performance and i'm going to sail where i'm actually hitting six plus bow four so if you're curious hit subscribe and i hope to see you next time take it easy boys and girls as we say in german that hat me good geschmeckt ja Das war super. Of uh, in the Hollands, that was lecker. And in English, that was good. So um, there you have it. <laughs>